Nicholas Lerkowitz. This is Crackpot. Our first guest is Ben Shapiro. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, thanks again. It's good to have you here. Um, I'm sorry, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hello? What are you doing? We can get somebody normal over here? You're a big celeb in the Jewish music biz, the industry, if you will. Um, so, let me tell you, you start. If you don't mind. Uh, what's the show called again? Oh, Crackpot. We eat challenge. We get to know each other. and Cool. Yeah. So had, when did you know you wanted to become a uh, celeb in the industry? Probably when I was seven years old. Mm-hmm. 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 You sang with Shweki on stage, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. We did Rachim together, which was a big song at the time. I believe it was Shwaki who one time tweeted that um, being from and famous is like a gift and a curse just without the gift. Could you, like, what, like how do you feel about that? Do you... You had this huge hit music video. It was like the biggest music video. You had this, you put it out with the song Castle on the Hill where you're talking about friends and your best friends and was ins- what inspired you to make that song? I don't... It's not called Castle on the Hill. What, what was it's it? It's called Friends. Did you see the video? Yeah, no. It's called Friends. You, okay. Mayor Kay was in that video? Yeah, my good your friend. Your friends with Mayor Kay? Yeah, Mayor's a good buddy of mine. So what, what's his number, please? I don't know if he's comfortable with I, me. Okay. Giving you his number. You had a song called Machar. No, jumping around. Yeah, the, thanks for the umbrella. The, yeah, and you had a song, Hayyim, like, what's next, Esma? How do you feel right now? Did you come up with that yourself? It's not like you just a said, camp did skit. Did you come this, up with that joke? Are you okay? Like, I mean, I'm a little uncomfortable. You know, maybe it's the pad. Let's let's be open with yeah. each other. Do me a favor. Take, okay. take off your shoes. Take off your shoes. I don't... Okay. I'd rather not. Cold hand. They don't come off. I get it. Right. Yeah. Um, Candid, off the record. <sighs> you, um, you had a song called Biyachad, right? And in the song you say, I like to ride my bike and I enjoy a hike. What do you mean by that? I think it, the words are pretty self-explanatory. So it was not like deep. It was just like, it's kind of just like I like to ride my bike. Like, who writes the lyrics for these English songs? Miriam Israeli writes some of them. Mm-hmm. She wrote most of them, actually. Do you have any Americans write any of your lyrics? Or? No. Uh-huh. Do you write any of your own lyrics? No. Nope. I write melodies, though. So when you said you wrote, you like to ride your bike, it's not yourself? No, Miriam wrote that. So she likes to ride her bike? I guess so. You know, did it have a deeper meaning? We want. <laughs> Why don't we have some chant? You want some chant? Um, I'm okay. Let's have this. This is the show. Wait, let's have some chant. Okay. Yeah. Ow! Ooh, wow. Milmart Kishka. <clears throat> Milmart, mouth wateringly gewaldic. So, okay. So, so, how did you get your abs? Mm. Do you do like P90X? Yeah, I exercise. P90X? I like to ride my bike and I enjoy a hike. Okay, I see. That's what, my exercise. All right. Okay, I see what you, I see what you did there. You did like, you, I mean, you asked for a deeper meaning. I don't want to bring this up. Like, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but. When you were younger, you have siblings, you have brothers, right? The yeah, Sh- I'm one of seven youngest. Yeah, so the Shapiro brothers, you weren't, 
you weren't were you were you overshadowed by them like did you feel like you were no it's not my family i mean they're great but Shapiro, oh so schnooki and schlumpy they're not your brothers no my brothers no do you have a smartphone yeah i do oh yeah um i do i need it for business you know oh you need it for business yeah you have a is it filtered or uh yeah yeah just to make sure, you just like look straight into that lens over there say remember kids Filter up or wilter up? You, cause no. you, yeah, because you just like look straight into that lens and say, I'd really rather not. Okay, and you're supposed to be a chilled guy and all. Um, so, what would you say would be like your lowest point of your career? Probably no. I'm sorry, what? Probably no. <laughs> yeah, right now. Know your place! I don't need you to third wheel. You think you're hilarious? I don't need you here. This is not the show about you. Why do you have to yell at him? You're not, you're not stuck here with this guy for the past three months. It's a, it's a buildup. It wasn't just like from the... It was a buildup. Is this almost over? What would you say would be your most memorable moment in your whole career? What, what do you remember? Just a couple of weeks ago, I was, in, I was in the Hask show. Goodbye. Go ahead. What were you saying? You were in the Hask... Um, I was in the Hask show. Yeah. Uh, Yaakov Shweki was there. Okay. Pumpadisa, Zusha, Barry, Barry Weber, Ishai Lapidot. It was a great experience. Right. Special to be a part of. So it was like a huge, it was a big moment for you. Definitely. Definitely. By uh, Elliot Gersner. Are you serious right and, now? Um, are you serious right now? What are you doing? What are you doing? Goodbye. Get out of here. Get out of here. You should be dope. Yeah, it was a great show. You were offered by Charles Turwitt to do modeling for them. Like, you turned them down, that's what I heard, is that? It's not true. Where did you hear that? I, okay. I'm really hooked up and I have this Nature Valley, okay, I'm. Yeah, Nature Valley's great. I'm hooked up. I thought that we can get a campaign going for you, okay? Because I know people, I know music doesn't always bring in all the pronouns you need. And I don't know if the camera could get this, but I thought this would be perfect if you, you know, is it okay? Yeah, I think it's a good picture. You know something? I'm trying to have a good time over here. This is supposed to be a fun show. I don't, can I give you some more challenge? You, your whole You're all over the place. Look at your papers are on the floor. What kind of show is this? Oh, I have a whole Rolex. I'm, I'm better than everybody. Yeah. Is that a real Rolex even? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Where are those glasses from? Yeah, they look like they're from Flappish. I saw your last album in the 199 basket in Eichler's. What do you have to say about that? Okay, are you working on any new albums? Yeah. What? It's in the works. Yitzi Walner and I are... Uh... <laughs> Meal Mart. Fresh, gewaldic, zaftig. Got it? Okay. Yeah, what were you saying? Yitzhi Walner? Yitzhi Walner's my producer. We're working on my third album. Oh, yeah? Due to hopefully be released after Pesach sometime. Very, very exciting mm. stuff, yeah. Yeah? What are you doing? Like, what are you doing with your life? You're a singer, you're running around, you have no stability. You ever think, like, knock it off, you know, go back to being normal, get a day job like everybody else? Excuse me, I need the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. We get it, you sing. You want to finish this up so I can go? Your shirt's untucked. You know, I, I'm, we're trying to be professional over here, all right? We put a lot of effort in. Then why don't you even just tuck in your shirt? So you tell me what to do. Why don't you ask me the questions from now on? You go. You know what? See how easy it is. Go. What's with that yarmulke? What's with where'd you get that beard from the farm? How much children do you eat? 
a lot. Maybe you should consider hopping on a bike once in a while. Yeah, you should consider hopping on the bike. Yeah, you know, I, I like to. Maybe you should consider. I like to ride my bike and I enjoy. Maybe you should. Maybe you should consider hopping back on the Muncie bus and going back to where you came from. I'm just saying, if you took a hike once in a while, this got a little, um, this got a little out of hand. Yeah, I think it did. Well, you could we just hug it out or? I, I'd rather not. We're that far. Mm. I can be on your next album. Like I sent Rachnet some vocals. Really? He was blown away. I, I think maybe like, can I? Let's hear something. This is from one of your fa- my favorite songs from you. Me mekoi mecha, imalekeinu sufiya. Never mind. Just never mind. This in the light. It's not my song. I don't think it's Shaykh. So much for positivity, huh? It's all about positivity. Yeah. Benny Freeman has more inspirational songs than you do, honestly. Where were we? You have any more questions? <laughs> this is the Crockpot Show. With Ben Shapiro, um, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks for coming. My name is not Ben Shapiro. Okay, we're done. <laughs>